for cheap, fast, and reliable Call of Duty mod services, check out DGZ Gold. Use code 9 for a 5% discount. Enter DG Gold giveaways to win loads of awesome prizes. Shout out to you for sponsoring this video. Thank you. I appreciate it. But anyways, that's it for that. And let's get right into this insane glitch. Hello guys, it is Silent 9 and today I'm a video on a insane zombies glitch in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And this will help you guys out with the season 4 battle pass and getting to level 1000. With this, you can get a ton of XP, and in my opinion, this is the best way to get XP in Zombies for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This is very easy, and this is completely solo. Now, there are other glitches on this game, and I will be posting them in the future, so stay tuned for more awesome glitches, and just subscribe if you want to see more insane glitches on Zombies and multiplayer and everything like that in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and future Call of Duties. But anyways, let's get right into this Video. So with this glitch, I have posted this before, but it still works after the season 4 update, which is actually insane. It still works to this date. And what you want to do is simply go right ahead and load up into Dean Machina, because that is where this is located. The best weapon to bring in this glitch is definitely the Shockwave, and that's because you will not be able to pick up power-ups, but with the Shockwave, you will have unlimited ammo. Now you can't just have the base variant or just get any upgrade that you want. I recommend you guys get the gas upgrade, it makes this even better and just faster. But once you have your weapon, all set to go then you want to at least have a juggernaug now make sure you have at least tier 3 juggernaug that will definitely help out and another thing that will help out but you don't need is stamina up definitely grab this because sometimes you can't fly and if you do not have stamina up then you're gonna die so definitely bring it to be extra careful and all that good stuff so after you get those two things you then want to go to the particle accelerator room you then want to leave a zombie. Now another thing that's very important is you want to make sure when you knife, you have the actual knife. You don't want a melee weapon or you don't want a knife with your gun. You want the actual knife and that is very important. Now once you're done getting those things, you guys will be set to do this glitch. So you want the zombie to follow you and you want to mantle over this railing. At this point, you want the zombie to drop down. Once he drops down, you then want to go on top of this railing. Then you want to move up a little bit so then the zombie goes all the way back up to the top level like you see me. And you guys might need to back up a little bit, but you guys want to be at the same exact area of the railing that I'm at. And you want to do a simple run, jump, and then knife once you hit the sliding barrier on the railing that I hit. So once you do end up knifing, you will see that you're going to fly in the air and you want to spam the button to jump. And basically that will make it so you'll mantle on top of this barrier. Once you're on top of this barrier, you have done that part of a glitch. Now this part is very easy for me, but some of you can find this tricky and i'm just gonna explain it one more time so everybody can get it really easily so we're gonna have that zombie drop down and we're gonna jump on that railing once you're on that railing we're gonna go up a little bit so then the zombie crawls back up then just make sure you're lined up where i am on the railing you then want to jump then hit the sliding barrier like so once you hit that sliding barrier you then want to knife once you knife you want to be basically flying in the air and once you're flying in the air you want to spam the button to jump which is going to be the button that will make you mantle on top of this barrier now once you are mantled on top of this barrier, the next step is very easy. You guys want to look where I look and you guys want to fall onto this ledge if you do not have stamina up. If you have stamina up, then you should just be able to jump right down without falling on that ledge. But after you get on this ledge, if you don't have stamina up, you then want to drop down fully. Like I said, if you have that stamina up, just drop down fully, you will take no fall damage. At this point, you want to make sure you go exactly where I go to so you do not hit any death barriers and you'll be perfectly fine. Once you're right here, you then will be in this one spot where it's perfectly safe. Now, if you did take any death barrier damage, make sure you guys sit right here until you get full health. And then you guys want to continue on to where I go to, mantle, and then just go forward. Keep on going forward and go all the way to your right, all the way to where you see me go to. And you guys want to go inside of this right here. Now, when you are in this, I think they attempted to patch this because this didn't ever happen before the patch. And let me just tell you guys what might happen to you. Basically, if you go over to this one corner, then the zombies might not pile up where they're supposed to, which is in front of you. If that happens, then just simply move to where I move to and they're going to pile up right in front of you and then move back to the corner and then they will continue to pile up in front of you. So whenever they don't pile up in front of you, do that and that will fix that problem. Never happened before until this update, so they might try to fix the pile up, but not too sure. But once you are down this one spot right here, you then will be in the pile up a glitch. All zombies, all playgrounds, and all megatons will pile up right in front of you, and you guys will be able to take them out very easily with the shockwave. Now, if you did bring any other weapon, 
then you're going to have a problem with getting ammo. That's definitely why I recommend you to get the Shockwave. So definitely bring that Shockwave if you can. And if you guys are wondering, can you get ammo at all in this glitch? You can. If you kill the Megaton, they will drop ammo clips. And if you do bring a weapon, then you can pick up the ammo clips and basically use the ammo clips for that weapon so you guys get ammo back. Just want to let you guys know with that. But if you did bring the Shockwave, then you can simply suck up the zombies by just pressing the button to aim in. And then that will collect ammo for you and you guys can shoot the Shockwave. And that will pretty much make it so you have infinite ammo with this Wonder Weapon. Wonder Weapon is very good for pileups. But that's it for this video on this crazy, crazy glitch for season four and how to get crazy XP. If you use this, you can go through infinite rounds and keep on getting unlimited XP forever. And this is completely solo. It's absolutely insane. Literally go in this pile up, sit in here and just simply go right through the waves and you guys will be able to rank up wicked, wicked quick. If you guys, you know, go through as fast as you can, definitely go right ahead, rank up in this pile up. It's absolutely insane. Now, if you do have some type of auto clicker, then you can set it up if you're on PC to auto click and basically suck in the zombies and shoot it so you guys can go through AFK if you have that. Or if you have Cronus Mac, then you can make it so it's AFK with that. Just to let you guys know, if you do have those things, you can do that and basically have a sit overnight. But if you do not have those things and you just have a regular controller, then you're going to have to kill the zombies yourself. So go right ahead, use this shockwave, get unlimited ammo, and pretty much just keep on killing them, and you guys will be perfectly fine. This is super overpowered and a very, very good glitch. Shout out to the founders, which is Intense Reality and Phantom Glitching. They did find this glitch. But that's it for this video on this crazy glitch. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe because you need to stay tuned for more glitches. But anyways, let's get right into the trick questions. So the answer to the last trick question is... So the answer to the last trick question is... She goes 25 days without sleeping because she sleeps at night. Good job to InstaKiller again. I forget that's right. InstaKiller is getting a lot of these trick questions right. Absolutely insane. Definitely. I appreciate it a whole lot. Shout out to you. But anyways, let's get right into the next trick question. So the next trick question is, what never ask questions, but it gets answered all the time. Answer down below when you're the first person with the right then you will get a shout out next video, but that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be a part of the ninja team today. Because in order to be a ninja, you'd be silent, and I'm going to silent 9. But anyways, that's about it. Peace out, see you in my newest video. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See you later. Peace.